Hi Tarot Tribe, it's Ebony and I have a unboxing video for you today. Something came from Amazon. I um, actually pre-ordered this a long time ago so I'm very excited and I follow the artist on Instagram and on Facebook and I've been following her journey creating it and I'm just so excited and I know that she also has got um, she's going to have collectors editions of the deck um, and I've seen her sewing some beautiful tarot patches that are made from images of this deck so but I'm impatient and I wanted it now so, it is the tarot, the Green Witch Tarot. So it says, attuned to the deep intelligence of the universe with the author of Green Witch, which is um, Anamora, that by Kiri Lenard, Osengard um, Lenard. And I love her work. If you are on Instagram or Facebook, follow her work. It's so magical and beautiful and lovely. Um, and I really feel like it's, you know, Writing a book is hard, I know. I'm doing it right now, but I know how much work it also takes. So I really feel like at times the artist and the writer should have the same billing and not just like... Anyway, I think that there's equal work done. Okay, so enter the world of the Green Witch, where elementals, fairies, and spirits of the earth help you align with the natural energies of the old religion. With the turn of each card, the Green Witch Tarot opens a channel between the reader and the spiritual beings of nature. Beautifully illustrated by Kiri and accompanied by a comprehensive guidebook for easy interpretation, this deck unlocks the energetic wisdom you can use to find answers, the answers that you seek. So it is a 78 card deck and it has a 264 page book. So very standard um, Llewellyn packaging. Oh, so I've been waiting, stalking the mailman this morning, this afternoon. So I'm probably going to get rid of the um, box, but I may cut that out. I've done that before. I've cut out the, some of the pictures and kept it. I may keep the box for now. Okay, so big companion book. And I have seen one thing I already love about this deck. No borders. Hurrah. Oh, very cool. Okay, so this is not only a book, it's like... There's a workbook element to it. Okay. 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 So excited. Um, has an introduction. Right. So they've changed the major arcana. The fool is the green man. The um, magician is the witch. The high priestess is the same. The empress is the earth mother. The emperor is the horn god. Then there's the hierophant is the high priest. Lovers is the Lady and Lord. Chariot is the Bandwagon. Um, the Hermit is the Crone. Sorry, the Strength is the Crone. The Hermit is the Holy King. The Wheel of the Year is for the Wheel of Fortune. The Justice is the Standing Oak. The Hangman is the Oak King. Death is the Lord of Shadows. Temperance is the She. Uh, why am I forgetting what number 15 is? Man, I'm having a brain moment. 15 is, number, is nature. Oh, duh, the devil. The devil is nature. 16, the tower is wild hunt. The star, the moon, the sun are the same. 20 is the harvest. The so judgment is the harvest. And the world is the world tree. Okay, so it has been changed. So they go into reversals, reading the cards... Okay, so there's a bunch about that. And then, so I'm going to review this. This is just first impressions. And then you get straight into the meanings. And then each one has this full picture here. And then also a little section for notes. Although I don't really know if I'd use that. But that's pretty cool if you're using this, like as if it was the only deck that you had. So quite a bit of the book is kept for the major arcana. And it has anything here, so like, for example, the harvest talks about Yule and different harvests in the Wheel of the Year. And it has the meaning, the reversed and prompting words. 
And then the, ma the minor arcana also has a picture as well, and it has the same thing about the card, the meaning, the reverse, and the prompting words. And then spreads. It's got one. Oh, they call the witch's circle spread. It's a Celtic cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and then a little conclusion. Cool. So that's the book. It's quite hardy. Now to the deck. Do, 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 do. We gotta find the little. Here we go. Now the backing is okay. I mean, I like it. It's not my favourite, but I'm more into like geometric shapes and patterns and things that are a little less obvious. But I get why the pentacles on there, the wreath, pentacle and the wreath. <laughs> Okay, so let's go through this. I love there's no borders. Thank God. Standard cardstock, the green man, for Llewellyn, the witch. Beautiful, look at that. High priestess. Oh, so stunning. The earth mother. The horned god. There's one fine looking horned god, if I do see this all myself. The High Priest, the Lady and the Lord. So obviously this is um, very, very uh, targeted to people who are Wiccan or witches or pagan. The Battle Wagon, Chariot, the Crone, that's cool. You always see her as a young maiden, it's kind of cool to see her as something different. The Holy King, so there's that mirror duality again, the Wheel of the Year. A standing stone, the Oak King, the Lord of Shadows, the She. This is cool nature. The Wild Hunt. There's also the fourth, four horsemen of the apocalypse. So there's a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> so I just saw that and laughed. Get me out of here! Says a little rooster down the bottom. The star. The moon. Also pretty. The sun. The harvest. The world tree. The ace of pentacles. Two of pentacles, three of pentacles. So I'm just going to keep going through these while just having a chat about the my first impressions. Okay, first of all, love the no borders as I mentioned. I just think it really allows for just so much more to be conveyed, and then I don't even have to worry about. Um, trimming it and therefore the deck is bigger because when you trim um, the deck obviously it becomes smaller that's so cute look at that beautiful I love the imagery being pagan and being a witch myself I'm really drawn to a lot of this imagery I can see that I'm going to get along quite well oh, I'm so cute um, with this deck I knew that though because as I said I've been following the artist okay so that's the three of swords so the athames are the swords very kind of different to like the heart being plunged with the swords really pretty i like this the new spin on things it almost has like a fairy tale kind of vibe as well Oh, this one's so cool. Look at that. The ten. Oh, so cute. So they've got the pages, the knights, the queens, and the kings. So that's very traditional to the tarot. Love the colour palette. I mean, look at that. Yummy. The... Um, the writing at the bottom is not, a, like it doesn't really get in the way, which is nice. 
it's not too overpowering. Still keeps quite a bit of the Rider Waite Smith in there. But um, also has a few kind of different takes on things, which is kind of cool. I love that the queens and the kings don't look like, you know, babe and supermodels and they, they look like elders in the community, which is very cool. I do like that a lot. That there are different body types being shown in here. It's nice as well. And not all like, remember my rant about the porn star boobs? Well, there's none of them in here. Oh, I can't wait to use this deck. I can see this being used very much in my um, Sabbath and Moon, my witchy times of the year. Because I have spreads for all of those, so I can definitely see that being used. So, very, very beautiful. I really dig the artwork. So let's gonna have a quick shuffle. And then I'm gonna see what the book says, because I have time to do that, which is cool. Okay, what did we get? Six of Wands. Oh yeah! Love this card. <laughs> so that's six of wands, let's look at six of wands. Pentacles, maze, wands. Six of Wands, this is a card of career victory and public acclaim. There may be an award, a certificate, a trophy or praise for a job well done involved. This card could represent receiving a pay rise, bonus or promotion for good results and achieving an important goal in one's career or creative project. It also represents a personal rather than a public experience wherein one has a sense of ability proven through good finances, returns or praise from the outside sources with, as in with an artistic endeavours. So then it has a little bit more than it says about the images, the um, what they've... So the red poppies for assertiveness, challenges and support are the victory wreaths. A sparrow, the symbol of dignity, assertiveness, loyalty and manifestation flies above the rider. So there's a little bit about the symbols that are used and their meaning. Um, victory in a career or creative enterprise, public recognition, and there's a whole bunch more uh, acclaim, job well done, efforts rewarded, successful self-expression, career goals, gain from one's own experience, and then reverse, so there are reversals, vanity, overestimation of one's own abilities, apprehension, um, prevents action, insurmountable odds, need to consider the plans of others, and then prompting words, a career victory and public acclaim. So that's a little bit about what you'll find in the book. So I'm looking forward to getting to know this deck um, and I will do a review. I know I've been doing a lot more unboxing videos and reviews, but reviews take quite a bit of time. Um, so I want to make sure I'm giving the decks the time before I just kind of rush into giving a review. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Green Witch Tarot by um, Anna and Kiri, published by Llewellyn. If you like what you see, then go ahead and get it. Um, you can get it from Amazon and the likes. And if you liked this video and you like thing, everything tarot, then please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.